Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video I am doing a pattern review but not for one pattern, I'm doing for two patterns that I just completed over the weekend. So basically I sewn two patterns in the same week. All right, now before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into both pattern reviews. And this is also a What You're Working On Wednesday. So I will also tell you the Joann's pattern sale. So let's go ahead and get right on into the table of content. So the table of content is I will start off doing the pattern review for this dress I have on, which is the raglan sleeve dress utilizing McCall's 8212. I will also do the pattern review for the tie front dress, which I have done a sew along for. You can look up and see that sew along. And that pattern is Simplicity 8981, which is the easy to sew pattern. And the last thing I'll tell you is the Joann's pattern sale that starts this Thursday. If you are not following, following my community tab on YouTube, if for some reason someone sends me the sale ad, I actually post it on the community tab on YouTube. So just make sure when you get those notifications, turn on that notification because you will get notification sometimes prior to the sale. And this sale, I actually happened to post, I wanna say Saturday or Sunday of the Joann's pattern sale. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into the first pattern review, which is McCall's 8212. All right, so the pattern description for this pattern. Now on the back of the pattern, it says that it is a Mrs. Dress belt, hat, and mask pattern. All right, but listen, what it really is, is it's a Mrs. Pullover raglan sleeve dress with placket neckline. Um, view A has tucks and short sleeves. View B have a shirt tail hem. View uh, C has long sleeves. B and C have long sleeves. And then D has the tie belt. You also have view E, which is the white rim sun hat. And um, you have different sizings as well. So basically, it is a raglan sleeve dress. All in all, it is a raglan sleeve dress. So let's go ahead and get into the sewing skills. So the sewing skills for this dress, on the pattern, it is not rated as anything. But for me, what I think the sewing skills would be for this dress and it is an intermediate beginner. And the reason why I say that is a couple of reasons. Now, um, if you have seen Simply Delilah's video last week, she talked about how she had issues with the neck um, band. Now the neck band, to be honest, the neck band can be a little fuzzy, which I will talk about <laughs> with my likes and dislikes for this pattern shortly. But the neck band can be fuzzy, which is why I'm going to say this is more of an intermediate beginner sewing pattern. <laughs> All right, so I'll talk about the neck band here shortly, but this would be considered an intermediate beginner pattern. Fabric use. So the fabric use for this pattern is 100% um, Ankara fabric from House of Mami Wata is where I purchased the fabric from. I purchased the fabric back in, I want to say July during the Ankara Appreciation Month. And I picked up quite a bit of fabric, which I will go ahead and try to link to that pattern haul that I did. So you can look up and see that pattern haul where you will see this fabric in it um, from House of Mami Wata. So I want to say in order to construct this dress, I spent roughly about $23 to make. That's with the elastic as well as the fabric. And there was no closures that I needed whatsoever. I didn't need any buttons. I didn't need to use a zipper. The only closure that I used was for the sleeves um, for B view B, which was the elastic. The pattern pieces used in order to create this dress would be all the pattern pieces on <laughs> the, the uh, pattern pieces. So it's pattern piece one through six, and then I added pattern piece number nine, which is the belt. So for the pattern pieces, you will need um, your, of course, you would need your front, your back, your um, 
I'm sorry, you need your front, which is pattern piece number one, your uh, front bend, which is pattern piece number three, your pocket, pattern piece number four, pattern piece number five, your back, seven, your sleeve, eight, your neck bend, and nine, the belt. So you would need six pattern pieces plus pa six pattern pieces plus pattern piece number nine, which is the belt. Those are the pattern pieces that you will need in order to construct this dress. Notions use. So the notions used for this uh, pattern is thread and elastic. That's all you need in order to construct this dress. Pattern sizing. So this pattern comes in size extra small to medium and then large to extra, extra large, I believe. So originally I picked up the sides large and then when I decided that I was going to do this dress, noticed quickly that I needed to go back to the store and pick up a small. Reason being is because the size that I needed to cut was a small and ex the extra large that I thought I needed to cut was like for a 50 something bust finished garment measurement, 50 something bust. So that wasn't going to work for me. So I went back and picked up the size that I need, which was extra small to medium. Now the size that I cut for this pattern is a size small. And the size small, I believe, gave me a finished garment measurement of roughly about, I think it was like a 42 and a half or 43 and a half. Um, the, it's on the pattern instructions for, it says, I think it's on the pattern envelope, um, but I have the instructions right in front of me. So for view A, the finished garment measurement for a small is a 43. And that worked out perfectly for me because you guys know I'm a 40 and a half. So just sizing up two and a half to three inches worked perfect for me. But that is the size that I cut for this dress. Modifications, did I make any modifications? Actually, no, but yes. So no, I did not do any major modifications to the pattern, but of course you guys know I added belt loops on the side because I have a tie belt, I made belt loops on the side in order to keep my belt onto the dress. Now let's go ahead and talk about if it looked like the photos or drawings on the pattern envelope. Yes, it does. Now, the only thing that I have to do is if you notice right at the neck area, this neckline is a little bit um, higher than this one. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna unpick it a little bit, go in in order to make both necklines even. But other than that, everything came out wonderful and I am so amazed that it came out wonderful, so yes, it does look like the photos and the drawing on the envelope. Are the instructions easy to follow? Um, to be honest, for me, yes. But I have heard from others that when you get around to the neck area, it can be fuzzy and difficult. A couple of reasons why is because the neck area it have you gather that area and then place the neck band onto the neck face so the neck facing onto the neck band and then attach it that way so it can be difficult to understand that whole neck band area but don't worry because you have to come back later on this week in order to see the sew along that i recorded for this dress in order for you to see that neck band and how to do it and how you can have yours flawless as well so let's go ahead and talk about my likes and dislikes for this pattern. So my likes, I love this dress. You guys know, if you don't know by now, you, you're going to know that I do like raglan sleeve dress, which reminds me of when I made the raglan sleeve uh, jacket that I made. It was like a hooded jacket. I used Simplicity 9354 and that was a raglan sleeve jacket. This is a raglan sleeve dress. So it just makes sense that you guys could tell that I love raglan sleeve things, right? Um, but yes, I love this pattern. The only dislike for this pattern, I would say, is the way that they have you do the front bands. That can be fuzzy if you are not familiar doing bands. But if you look at my video um, that I did a sew along for, New Look 6704, 
the band, putting the bands on are pretty much similar, um, very similar with doing the front bands. So if you've seen that video, you probably would not have any difficulties putting on the front band whatsoever. But the neck band can be fuzzy on the way that they want you to put it on. But that's the only dislike, but it's not necessarily a dislike because I didn't have any trouble putting on the neck band, but I can see how it can be difficult um, to put on if you're not used to gathering at the neck edge or any of that jazz. But those are my likes and dislikes for this pattern. Would I sew this pattern again? Yes. Now I have plans to sew this dress again, but I want to just use the bodice and then create like tears at the bottom, okay? So that's a plan to actually sew it again and it's solid and just basically do a Franken pattern. So what a Franken pattern is, is you use two or more different patterns in order to create a garment. So I will probably do a Franken pattern in order to use this dress. Now I'm going to back up one other, uh, back up one time to likes and dislikes. Now I want to say the tucks. So the tuck that they have you do at the bottom of view A, that's the view that I did. Um, the instructions are incorrect. And the reason why I say the instructions are incorrect is because it tells you to basically take the the fold line for the tuck, have it go up, stitch the line, and then press the seam down. Here's the thing. If you stitch it on the right side of the fabric, your tuck is on the inside, which is the wrong side of your fabric. So on that instruction, I'm gonna actually pull out my instructions for you again and tell you where it's messed up in the instructions because I wrote it in the instructions to for this pattern review. So there was two, uh, places in the instructions that's incorrect. The first one was the front band. I remember it was the front band. On step number five, it tells you to press your seam towards your front. So you are not, do not press your seam towards your dress. Press your seams up towards the front band and then fold it over and then top stitch. All right, so that's the first incorrect instructions that they told you to do. The second one was the tucks, which is um, step number step number 13. If you're doing view A, creating the tuck. So it tells you to form tuck and dress on outside, which is the right side of your fabric. You're going to crease along the fold line, stitch along stitching line, and then press your tucks down. So what I did that made sense was I fold, I folded my uh, tuck. I only did one tuck because I did cut off four inches for this dress um, because I didn't have enough <laughs> fabric lengthwise in order to uh, cut the entire dress. So it is four inches shorter. Um, so what I did was I folded the dress up right sides together, but I stitched on the inside, which is the wrong side of the fabric. And after I stitched, it created the tuck on the right side of the fabric to where I pressed it down in order to create my tucks. So that's what I did um, for the tuck and it worked out perfectly. The other way, it just made it seem like you just did a weird looking hem, to be honest. But <laughs> other than that, that's the only thing that I did not like as well, all right? So I would sew this dress again would I recommend this pattern to others? Yes, I would recommend this pattern to others. Reason because this is a great classic raglan sleeve dress that you can definitely do style, wear it for spring, wear it for summer. You can actually wear it for any occasion as well as um, wear it throughout the year. To be honest, you could dress it up with boots, you could have heels, you could wear tennis shoes. This is just like a basic everyday dress. I wouldn't say basic, but this is like a, cute, nice, flowy, everyday dress. So yes, I would recommend this to others. All right, so my pattern rating. So my pattern rating for this pattern is a four out of five. Reason being is because, okay, listen, I'm doing a four out of five because of the instruction. However, I love this dress and I would give it a five out of five. So I'm gonna go in the middle and say a four and a half out of five. And the reason why is because 
the instructions screwed up uh, instructions on the neck bend area. The instructions is screwed up again on the tuck area. So now I want to say if you run into pattern instructions that's incorrect, all you have to do is just email the company like McCall's, Butterick, Vogue, Simplicity, let them know and they will make that correction, which is what I did after sewing this dress to, you know, let the next person know that there are some instructions that are incorrect. And I just have been noticing it with every single pattern that I have sewn thus far this year. It has been like three of them where the pattern instructions are incorrect. So, you know, human error, people make mistakes. So that is my pattern review for this pattern. So let's go ahead and get into my next pattern review, which is Simplicity 8981, which is the tie front dress that I did a so along for. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this pattern review. All right, so the pattern description says that it's an easy to sew Mrs. Dress, pull on style with center front and back seams, fastens at back neck. It also has an OB style belt and the dress and length variations as well and sleeve length variations as well. It's suitable for a light to mid weight uh, fabrics as well. Now, for me, I use, and I'll say this again, I use a scuba ponte knit for my fabric. So let's go ahead and get into the sewing skills for this pattern. So the sewing skills for this pattern says that it is a beginner, easy to sew pattern. Do I feel that it's a easy beginner pattern? Yes, I do. This pattern is true for beginners. Now, the only thing that I would say for beginners, because I feel like it is beginner friendly, is sewing on a button. Um, and the only other thing would be sewing on bias tape um, right at the neck edge. But other than that, I feel that this is a beginner pattern. Fabric use. So the fabric use, like I just said, that I use a mustard color scuba ponte knit and I love the feel of this knit. It's lightweight. It's not heavy whatsoever. all. And you guys know I normally do not sew with knits because of where I live in and, and depending on what the fabric, I will sew a knit dress or a top, but pants or whatever, no, no, no. Um, it just gets too hot here for me to want to sew a lot of knit garments. So that's why I normally do not sew with knits. But from time to time, I want something in my wardrobe that's knit. And I decided to use this scuba knit um, that I purchased the fabric from fabric.com. So where did I purchase the, purchase the fabric from? I purchased the fabric from fabric.com last year in 2021. I want to say I purchased it around September during um, the fabric. I purchased a lot of fabric around my birthday time frame in September. So that's when I purchased this fabric. The pattern pieces used for this dress. So the pattern pieces used for this dress will include pattern piece one through six. You have your front and sleeve, your back and sleeve, your pocket, the loop, the belt center, and the belt in. Now, one thing that I, if I can remember correctly, um, number four, which is the loop, that loop is for the back of your dress. So that is to keep the, to fasten with the button on the back. And then also on pattern piece number four, the pockets. Now, because I used the knit, I should have just omitted the pockets um, because for me, and if you see in the photos, you will see that those pockets just kind of disturb the fabric just a tad bit. And I did not like that part. But other than that, I do love this style of dress and I do want to make it again which I will tell you guys that here shortly. Also, um, I did add belt loops on the side and in the tutorial that I did post last week or Sunday or whatever, um, it does say that, you know, I did create my own belt loops for the side instead of hanging my tie belt on the ends. I wanted that to hang on the dress itself. So I did do that. But those are the pattern pieces that you will need in order to construct this dress. Notions used. So the notions used for this, this pattern, 
You will need your coordinating thread, which of course I use yellow. You will also need one half inch button as well. And those are, oh, and you also need um, a half inch single fold bias tape in order to do the neck area. But other than that, that's the only notions that you will need in order to construct this dress. Pattern sizing. So the pattern comes in, I believe the pattern comes in six to 14 and also 14 to 22. If I'm incorrect, I'll put it up on the screen. So the pattern size that I cut was a size 14. And then of course I just did a mild grading, not much whatsoever because like I said, I'm using a knit, so I need negative ease instead of a lot of ease itself. So for the bust, I did a 40 and a half. For the waist, I did a 32. <laughs> I did not add any room to the waist. And then for the hips, I actually did a 44 for it to be fitted onto my body because it is a knit. So I'm going with negative ease instead of adding a lot of ease like I would for a cotton fabric. But that's the size that I cut for this pattern. Modifications. So the only modifications that I did, like I just mentioned, was add belt loops. I didn't do any other modifications because this pattern really doesn't need any modifications. So take that back. I did do a modification, but it's not necessarily a modification. So on the front, if you look right here on the front, I did top stitch. And the reason why I top stitch is because I did want to give it a little bit more detail. I'm still in between if I want to do the same thing for the back because I felt like that was a good detail. And also for the arm on the shoulder, I think I want to top stitch just to give it that nice polished detail. But other than that, that's the only modification that I did outside of making, um, using my twin needle in order to do double stitching for the hem. I just have not pulled out my cover stitch machine to use it, which is right behind me. Um, but I haven't used it yet, but it would have been great to use that for this dress, but I have not completely read up on it. So it'll, it's, it will be coming pretty soon. But yeah, um, what I did was a double stitch on my hem. So that was the only modification that I did for this pattern. Did it look like the photos or drawing on the envelope? Yes, it does. Um, so the model on the envelope, she looks amazing in the dress. And I felt like I looked amazing in the dress as well. And I remember there's another YouTuber and Instagrammer that made this dress just recently, just not too long ago in a Ponte. I want to say she, she used a knit, I know for sure. She used a knit and I want to say it was a Ponte red uh, knit. And she looked amazing. She looked amazing in it. And it's just so funny that we both paired it with the same thing like new hill new shoe so that was amazing to see hers as well um yeah so and go ahead and look in the description box below you will see her handle on instagram and also her youtube channel and you'll be able to hear about it as well if she has it posted as well all right so um are the instructions easy to follow so I did a sew along, so what do you expect? Yes, <laughs> the instructions are easy to follow. Like I said, this is more of a beginner pattern. It's easy to sew, so the instructions are definitely easy to follow. Would I sew this pattern again? So yes, I would sew it again, and I definitely wanna make this pattern again in a black. I also want to do it in a red, and I'm thinking of doing it in like a purple, like a um, eggplant purple. I do not have any of those fabrics in my stash, but I think I may make it in a knit again, definitely in black, because I do have some black in my stash right now for knit, and I'm trying to use uh, up the knits that's already in my stash because I don't sew a lot with knit. So... I may um, tend to pull this dress out again, omit the pockets and sew it up in a black knit. My likes and dislikes for this pattern. So there are no dislikes for this pattern whatsoever. The only dislike is something that I did myself and that was add pockets, but there's no dislikes. I love, 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 love this pattern. I love, 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 love this dress. I thought I was cute and sexy in this dress. 
Yes. <laughs> so there's no dislikes whatsoever. It's all love. Would I recommend this pattern to others? Absolutely, yes. Um, if you are a beginner sewer, I would say you could do this dress. Like, make one or two. <laughs> um, now, one thing that I did think about doing after I took the photos was to do a second look and tuck it in some jeans and, you know, style it that way. But the sun went down on me, so that's why I took my photos on my porch. Um, at my house because the sun just went down and it started sprinkling and getting ready to rain. So we didn't want that drama. So, <laughs> so that's why I took my photos on my porch this time. All right. So my pattern rating. So uh, my pattern rating for this pattern, I'm going to give this pattern a four and a half out of five. And it's not something because I do love this pattern. I think it's amazing. Um, but I think next time I do it, I would do ties in the back instead of that whole loop and buttons. You guys know how I feel about these loops situation. I think um, it may be best to do a chain thread loop, um, a, a chain, a thread chain, basically, instead of the loop that they create on pattern piece number four. Um, it, it wasn't bad, but I could have done without it and just made some ties. Just my opinion. But other than that, that's all that I have in this pattern review. All right, so now that you have seen the pattern review for Simplicity 8981, let's go ahead and talk about the Joanne pattern cell. So if you looked at my community tab, um, you got a notification letting you know that the Simplicity and Quick Sew patterns will be on sale starting uh, tomorrow, which is Thursday, January 27th. And I believe it will end Saturday, the 29th. If I believe correctly, maybe it's the 30th. I can't remember the end date, but I will go ahead and post it right here so you're able to see when um, the sale is over, okay? So one thing that I wanna mention also is the new Simplicity Early Spring 2022 patterns are out on Simplicity website. Now I have checked my stores and my stores do not have the, uh, well, one of my stores do not have the new Simplicity uh, Early Spring patterns out, which I'm a little bummed at. However, I am going to two other stores um, Friday to see if they have it to pick up. So um, there are a few of them for simplicity that I wanna pick up. And if I'm able to find them, I will show you in the next video or do a small uh, pattern haul of the ones that I choose to pick up. Well, that's all that I have in this episode of What You Working On Wednesday and both of those pattern reviews. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video. And as always, keep sewing.